Hi everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. You probably know if you watch my videos, I really like spirals and I really like shapes and patterns to my paws. So something different. I've recently started using split cups and loving the results. So I'm going to do a spiral split cup paw. So it's going to be a ring paw. The canvas will be on my cake turntable. So as I'm doing the rings, as I'm pouring the cup out, I'm going to very slowly turn the canvas on the turntable um, to see what happens. It'd be really interesting to see how separate all the colours stay um, with the spinning at the same time. Um, so let me show you what I'm going to do. These are the colours I'm, I'm going to use. So I'm going to do five colours, my five chamber split cup. I've got Venetian Rose by uh, uh, Amsterdam. Now this one is a totally new paint to me. Um, I often order my canvases from an online company called Art Discount and they actually have really good quality canvases um, at a really good price. So I just ordered some of their paint and it looks in consistency um, and sort of depth of colour. It looks very, very similar to paints I um, already use. Um, in fact, the tube looks very similar to the De La Rowney, where, and I also buy this from the art discount. So I almost wonder, could they be the same product, just with a different label? I'm not sure, but this one being a lower price. So I'm going to experiment with the art discount paints. Um, Montmartre Gold, Amsterdam Crimson, and this one is Persian Rose. Have a look. There's two pale pinks which are really, really similar. This one is Light Rose uh, by Amsterdam. So I've mixed all of these with PVA glue and water pouring medium, and I mixed them th um, three parts pouring medium to two parts paint. Um, I'm quite liking the, the fact that they're reasonably fluid and runny at the moment because it just gives such a beautiful, smooth finish to the painting. In fact, it's really hot here today. I think these have actually thickened up slightly. I, I mixed them maybe an hour ago, a couple of hours ago actually, um, and they've thickened. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water just to get them a little bit thinner again. So I'm using a hexagonal canvas, which is 40 centimetres. Um, there's some markings on here. Ignore that. That was I had an idea for something which hasn't hasn't panned out. So I've got my split cup. So as I said, I'm going to do a ring pour, but I'm going to I'm going to very, very slowly turn this at the same time if I can coordinate it. Um, here goes. Let's see what happens. Right, that is looking absolutely beautiful. Really, really happy with that. Right, this is, the colours are so separate. This is looking so pretty. Um, so I'm wondering whether or not I should put um, some flow extender down. That will just help the puddle just to glide and um, spread out. I think I might do that. Now I'm going to spin this, but what I will just first of all do is just get the weight a bit nearer the centre because I can see that it is, um, it's going over in that direction. The canvas itself is level, but I've actually put the canvas on another canvas, uh, which has got a hole in it, which is why I'm not using it, and then on my cake turntable, which is here. 
just checking the canvases are in the center now i haven't stuck this down so there is a real chance that well <laughs> that it could go flying but i don't i'm, I'm hoping not um, it's a good idea to stick it down even with just some double-sided sticky tape there's some on the cake spinner so lots of air bubbles let's just get rid of those so i'm going to do this really gently I am virtually there. There are just two corners that's missing a little bit. So I'll just one more spin. Right, I've got them all. Wow. One more. Just not liking this straight red edge here. So I'm just wondering if I can make that a bit rounder just by tilting a little bit of that off. Wow, I love it. The colours are amazing. How separate they are. It's just incredible. This split cup is just amazing. Really happy. There's quite a lot of paint on here still. It's still quite heavy, but I'm really happy with this composition. I don't think I want to spin it again. Or do I? Now I'm going to leave it like this because you've got the red, the red, tiny bit of red. So I think that actually works really nicely. Right, I'm just going to get the corners and then I'll show you close up. Just look at the colours. Oh my goodness, I love them. You can see all the colours. So the pale pink, the Venetian rose, the purple, the gold, and you can see that sparkle in the gold there, and the red. So they haven't muddied. All the colours are so totally separate. I think you've got a bit of depth where it spirals here. It, I think it looks like it's going down, um, downhill. Now, this is what's interesting here is if you look at the cup, I did the Venetian rose here, the pale pink here. So on the two edges. Now, on the canvas, they are together. So, um, I'm learning at the moment about how I layer the cup, how that dictates the, the pour. Um, so it repeats. So you can see from the cup, Venetian rose, purple, gold, red, pale pink, and then it just repeats. Um, so that's really interesting that the Venetian rose and the pale pink are next to each other, even though they're separate on the in the cup. Look at that sparkle. Oh my goodness, love this love these colours. It's so hot here today in the UK. I just felt like I needed to do warm, rich colours. So the red and the gold. I guess really I should have done cool colours to feel a bit, a bit more refreshing, but maybe I'll do that next. Great, I'll be back when it's dry. 
So it's now dry and I'm absolutely blown away by the colours. The colours are fab and they just haven't muddied. So you've got such distinct colours. So the gold, the red, the pink, the Venetian rose, the purple, the gold, all side by side, hundreds and hundreds of lines. It's just absolutely fascinating. Ring pours I find fascinating, let alone with the split cup. To keep, so you can just see how separate everything is. Um, I think the centre really looks like you've got some depth there to it. My favourite aspect of the pour is just to try and I'll try and show you how smooth and silky and glossy this is. Um, being having slightly thinner paints just gives this it's a beautiful smooth finish um, to the pour. Normally, when I do them a bit, a bit thicker, you just see the ridges. There's some sort of texture in the ridges in the lines. But this is totally smooth and just look at the sparkle in that in that gold. It's so, so pretty. Really happy with this. Um, I think what I'm going to try next is similar concept. So spiral on my on my cake turntable. But I'm thinking what would happen if I as I as I was pouring it, I span the, um, the cake turntable quicker. So would I get a kind of tighter spiral i'm quite tempted to see so composition wise how that would look if i could get it tighter spiral so more sort of a, so that that pink for example to come around more around the edge so i might try that next maybe on a square canvas um, thanks so much for watching please let me know what you think please do hit the thumbs up button if you like it great take care bye